Whether you're a local or a tourist, if you're visiting Seneca Lake in upstate New York, one of the things you're going to want to do for sure is get out on the water or out in the water. You'll have several options to get out on the water, but the one I'm going to talk about today is Falling Waters Boat Tours with Captain Fred at Hector Falls. Hector Falls is an amazing waterfall that empties into Seneca Lake and it's about three and a half miles up on the east side on Route 414. In fact, you'll take a bridge right over it. Many people park their cars along the narrow road just to walk out on that bridge to look up the falls and down the falls because the bridge is about midway. One of the difficult things about seeing Hector Falls is there's a bridge across and you can't really see the top where it starts and you can't really see the bottom where it ends from the bridge. If you have a small group of two, four, five, maybe six people, and you want a more intimate lake experience, I highly recommend Captain Fred's Falling Waters Boat Tours. Captain Fred's tours are weather permitting from May to October, and there's a variety of one and a half to two and a half hour tours, including sometimes sunset tours. You have to go to the website, which is fallingwatersboattours.com, to register and reserve your tour. I recently had the opportunity to go out on the boat with Captain Fred, my best friend, her fiance, and my husband, and we had a wonderful experience in July. To find Captain Fred's, you really have to turn down a very narrow winding road. There isn't a lot of parking and the road is kind of narrow down to his home where the tours launch. So I recommend if you can to pile into one car to minimize parking space. His boat isn't all that big, but it's a really nice one and he keeps it in great shape. Captain Fred's boat tours cruise the east side of the lake and the southern tip, starting at the bottom of this amazing waterfall. Hector Falls is said to be about 165 feet from the very top to the very bottom where it dumps into the lake. When you're at the bottom of the waterfall, this is such an ionizing, refreshing experience. The air is so crisp and fresh, and it's just beautiful there. When we were there, there were people playing in the waterfalls, including a woman who walked up to the base of the waterfalls, and then she swam out to her boat. When you look at this waterfall from the car, from the bridge, it really doesn't do it justice. Hector Falls is considered to be one of the most exquisite waterfalls in upstate New York. When you're at the bottom of Hector Falls, it's surrounded by shale rock. And Captain Fred actually lives in a house tucked right off to the side at the base of these falls. It's an amazing location. Here's a view of the falls from out on the water. And as you can see, you really can't see it all because of the vegetation. But this drone shot shows it from the very top to the very bottom. The day we were out, the lake was actually a little choppy and it was clear skies to the south of us, but a storm was coming in from the north. Actually, it made it kind of exciting. When we were out there, we could tour these million dollar properties along the shoreline in some areas. In other areas, there were shale cliffs where no property could be built. There's an interesting historical spot called Painted Rock where the cliffs have paintings that have been refreshed through the years some of them are phony, but apparently this is where original Native Americans did have some sort of painting. We got back to the dock and unloaded just minutes before a heavy downpour. We just barely made it back to Captain Fred's patio under the umbrella when it began to pour. Once we were under the umbrella, the rain really started to come down and we were sitting there right at the base of the falls and the falls started to roar. It was kind of exciting. As we enjoyed local cheese and local wine served by Captain Fred and his lovely wife, we enjoyed the smell of the fresh rain. Captain Fred had photos of things on his iPad to show us, including this bald eagle. Overall, we had an absolute blast and I highly recommend this tour. To book your tour, go to his website, Falling Waters Boat Tours. There are public tours, private tours, and you can even buy a gift certificate. If the weather's bad, you can always reschedule. Thank you, Captain Fred.